Hello, welcome to Crypt Point Awareness Channel. My name is Sayyad, and if you do not know me, please look at my LinkedIn profile. Today, I will show you how you can build, install, configure, and deploy your Talos testnet node. It is the same process if you want to build your Talos node for the production network for the main net, which will be ready in the future. Now, the Talos Foundation may introduce some special requirements in order to improve the security of the Talos ecosystem and also they will introduce some requirement to support disaster recovery situation. So maybe you need to build multiple nodes, multiple full nodes and multiple block production nodes in order to support redundancy in the mainnet. Today I will build a single node and that node will have all the functions including it will be able to produce the blocks so let's see how you can start you can start from this website testnet talos foundation dot io slash info here you can find all the instructions regarding how to build your node talos foundation has built a special tool lightweight tool called grow you can use this tool to actually build a single node basically instantly it works very fine i have used this tool i have tested it here it is and it works fine i have deployed a single node by using this tool it works fine there's no problem uh, but you don't feel the full control until you go into the source code and read how they have developed this so i am not going to use uh, this tool now I am going to use the manual process because in the manual process you feel that you have more power uh, on the system and you understand what's going on. Okay, I will use Ubuntu operating system to install and develop the node, but you can use other operating systems if you want. If you have Ubuntu OS already installed then it is well and good otherwise if you have a windows machine you can install a ubuntu virtual server you can actually first install uh, oracle virtual box then you can deploy your virtual machine your ubuntu virtual machine on your windows machine i have already uh, installed ubuntu virtual machine uh, ubuntu 18.04 if you don't know how to do this please let me know give me your feedback then maybe i will make another video on this one but today i'm not going to show you how to do this i assume you already know this and you already have a ubuntu virtual machine or you have access to the ubuntu operating system uh, and you need to have uh, uh, roughly 18 gigabyte of ram and maybe 20 gigabyte of hard disk so if your machine support these specifications then you can deploy a talus testnet node the way i do this i normally create two or three directories one directory i need for the source code and to build the node second directory i need for the configuration files and i can also use the same directory to store the blocks and also uh, for the wallet configuration or to store the um, keys in the wallet but you can do this the way you like first let's decide what will be the name of this node the block producer name i think i will use the name sweden core bp1 so let's use this name and i will create some directories based on this name so create a directory for your source code and for your build create another directory for your configuration files i just put conf at the end now just go inside your build directory and then follow these instructions clone your talus code it may take some time and if it takes a little bit long time uh, i will cut the video in between 
so this is done so let's check out stage 1.1 Uh, we need to go inside tell us and then we need to do this. yep now we will execute this get some module update and it requires save now it's done so the next step is just to build this this may take even more time so i will come back after some time now this is done everything looks good so what's the next step so we have to install it this may not take a lot of time and it looks like it will not take a lot of time So now what I want, I want to have configuration files or configuration scripts in Sweden core bp.conf. Now everybody may work in a different way, but this is how I do, at least uh, for the time being. I normally uh, go to crypto crypto loins uh, website and they have created some scripts which can make our life easier i have used these scripts in the us case and with little modification they work fine uh, in the talos environment so what i will do i will download this whole package and then i will modify it uh, based on what i need uh, for talos you just follow these instructions clone this configuration files into your configuration directory and it will be quick yep it happened so here you have uh, configuration files and scripts and you only need to modify these based on uh, your needs so I will modify this one I am using these three directories yeah so here is our uh, most of the node build programs and then we will have configuration files here and then we have uh, the wallet location at this place so I will need to configure these scripts based on these uh, directories let's first set the appropriate access rights okay so
so i will come back after modification this configuration files and i will show you how did i modify or what did i do now i have configured these configuration scripts based on what we need for talus so this is our configuration file basically here you need uh, producer name you need your keys I will generate the keys and uh, then enter here I have not yet generated the keys we will do it together uh, this is agent name and uh, this is a demo node then uh, then you need to know about these parameters uh, HTTP server address and then P2P P2P uh, server addresses and listen addresses and then you have down uh, your peer-to-peer -peer communication links even if you have only one it is good enough and these are different plugins that you need uh, for a full node and then for the block producer node for the producer node you only need this plugin okay So this is our start script that is how it looks like so here we have configuration file location of the configuration file then we have a location of our build programs and then we have stop script so again the location of the configuration file and then this is how it looks like to stop then this is the script for Talos So here's your build programs, uh, listening port, and then wallet port. Then you have script to start and stop wallets. So basically what I did, I just took these scripts from the crypto lines website that I showed you and then just modified the uh, different directories uh, depending on where i have built our node and then what is the location of the wallet then we also have the location for the configuration files and it is the same location where the blocks will be stored and let's see how the stop script looks like so these scripts you can download from the crypto lines website and you only need to modify as i told you these three directories and then that's the only thing and then you have to only change the clear start sh script so instead of that i have a teclo start sh script uh, because now instead of clears we are using a teclos command so this command is here So now instead of clears, we have a tech loss now in this build. So these are the only changes that we need to do. And now we need to um, create some key pairs and wallets. So let's start our wallet. You can check if the wallet is running or not. So this is our kiosk program for this node the other one is for another node so we have two but we are going to use this one on port 8911 let's create a new wallet i am not going to use the default wallet name i am going to hide the wallet password it's a good practice to hide these kind of passwords uh, otherwise this is not important I am NOT going to use these keys and wallet passwords in future but still it is a good practice to hide these keys and the wallet passwords now let's create three keys normally you can only create one key and you can use the same key 
as your block producer signing key and then owner key and active key for your account block producer account but this is not a good practice at all it's better to create three key pairs from the beginning one for the producer signing key and then owner key for your account and an active key so let's create three keys at the same time just choose any key pair for the producer key or the owner key or the active key so the sequence does not matter now we need to import these three key pairs in our wallet that we just created few minutes ago So that's done so let's now check our wallet status and keys so this is our wallet and these are our three public keys so now in our config.ini file we need to add producer signing key so let's do that I will need to hide the private key here so that is all let's also start our node now let's check if the node is running or not yes it's running so this is our this new test node this stuff that you see here this is for another node okay now we need to register our node in the Talus testnet website so we need to register here register producer name server location is Stockholm server location is Stockholm PP address they basically only need server IP address and P2P server address uh, this was extra information now our three public keys producer key then owner public key and active public key And this is our active key telegram channel and then the URL use this as the URL so I think that's all let's register it so it's done now we need to execute this one to register our node as a producer done we got some error let's see why we got this error it is probably because our node it does not have all the blocks it's not synced with the blockchain so we need to refer to another node i will refer to eos sweden node uh, sweden cornet node and that's how i can do that
yes this is how we do it and uh, it did work so now the node has been registered with the testnet and also you can check it here uh, let's check it first check here p2p list so this is our node just now we registered and uh, let's see if it appears here as a producer but in the meantime we can give vote to all the block producers so behind you see the list of block producers there are like 25 block producers so let's cast the vote to all the block producers so this is how you do that some error let's see what went wrong let's try again Three five zero zero. System word producer ports. It should work, but I don't know why it's not working. Let me check why it's not working. So the account looks okay, but the account has not voted. This worked. I only did cast vote for itself and then it did work. Let's see the status of the account. Yes, it says it's okay. Now let's see why it was not working when I tried to vote more than one block producers. I tried to vote all block producers. So maybe I was entering some wrong names or whatever. Let's pick few block producers no now it worked maybe I am entering some wrong account names but anyhow now it's working uh, you saw that it's working now I have given vote to these block producers so this was all for today so this is how you can set up your own node and please welcome welcome to Talus. and as you saw here it is very easy to build your own node and then you can join the test net so hopefully I will see you in the Talos testnet environment. See you soon. Bye bye.